मेल 62 इयर्स रोड ट्रैफिक एक्सीडेंट ऑपरेटेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स डायबिटीज मेलाइटिस ओपन ग्रेड 2 फ्रैक्चर टिबिया फिबुला पाइलोन 1989 बिफोर 26 इयर्स दिस द हिस्ट्री ऑफ बिफोर 26 what should be the treatment? Sir. Uh, it's not acute, it is the 89, but just to start the discussion. Open fracture. It's an open grade 2, yes. At that time, Rudy's paper was very popular of plating the tibia. <laughs> but asking. Yes, I'm asking you now, just to start the discussion. Debridement and then depending upon contamination, whatever you have, go ahead, basically reduce it, compress, like collapse it and have an external fixator to begin with. Yes. And then once the soft tissue settles down, there's a distal third, we, let us be careful and then once the soft tissue settles down, we can think definitively. Right. Anybody to defer anything? Anybody for Elizaro? Yes, you're for Elizaro. In this case, okay. So now, the what are the pictures which are available from the record from the patient? These are the pictures. Any comment now, Dr. Delan? At that time, this was the thing. This was the clamp we were using for the plate, and the surgeon has used like this. So open fracture number one. You know, soft tissue also compromised. You are absolutely right. Then uh, plate like this. We Goes in instability patterns are there, and then the displacement characteristic indicate that contact is sufficient. So yes, no. yes, yes, yes. So this was the picture after the completion. That was intraoperative. This is the picture uh, uh, post-op at that time. What do you think? Surgeon has done done a good job. Reasonably okay at that time in 1989. Now what is happening, it got infected. So now surgeon removed everything and he put a calcaneal LS pin to the tibia temporarily for fixation. These are the x-rays available with me, right? So after that, it went on and it, it has reached to this place. Now what will you do? This is after eight years of the treatment, 89. Painful now? It is very painful, very painful, very painful. But the patient was prolonging because he was fed up with uh, this uh, all multiple surgeries and treatment. Action of fixator was also done, but that pictures are not with him. No discharging sinus. It was there before. I am going to the next clinical picture when it presented to me. See, this is the picture now. You can see that everything is non union here. Small, small fragments got united. The fibula has been nothing here. Nothing here. So wait till he comes to you. A painful, painful non union. Yes, let me go ahead. Now, this is the picture when it is presented to me. 2015, it presented 56 years of the painful limb and the varus. And he was walking, but very painful. So he was negligibly walking. He was almost bedridden. No infection till now. No infection. I will show you the clinical picture. So I will show is, you the... Everything is fused already. Everything is fused already, but this is very down painful below. and it so, goes in the varus. Yes, so. he, he, he was walking, whatever he was trying to walk, it was going in the varus. So the nail. You're, and, right. Uh... You're right, sir. So this is the clinical picture. Every skin is gathered here. You can see the nail. The vascularity was also at problem. This was done. Doppler was done. Multiple surgeons have consulted. Everybody advised for Elizaro or something like that. But he was fed up with the action fixators. Multiple action fixators were done. And this is the clinical picture, sir. Now, how to approach this? This is the skin condition here. It is very stuck here. And 
this is the condition and also diabetic yes sir naveen yeah. do you left with any other choice than the attempt diffusion by different means whatever yes you are right absolutely you have to excise the non union excise the non union from where to go to excise the non union you plan properly one no, no. here the skin condition is like this go posterolaterally go posterolaterally you are perfect like hermans approach yes any uh, thing is we have to rule out the diopathy of course it is painful so less likely less likely yes when it is so long standing uh, diabetes we have to rule out diabetic neuropathy because yes. diabetic neuropathy and vasculopathy uh, in combination will give uh, inferior results so because he has yes yes so every surgeon was thinking in that line on, only clinically also we can uh, or we can do nerve conduction yes so if you are thinking of ptc nail fusion then um, we have to rule out infection uh, which that clinical and the, uh, that lab markers were normal because already the ankle is fused subtalar is fused subtalar so, is fused you are right so it is worth to go for a ttc nail if possible and um, what possible difficulties will be there in the ttc nail because um, good that is uh, ankle and subtalar are plantigrade so we don't mind uh, it is light slightly in the equinus because of the shortening uh, very very little on the fracture side and do the freshening and uh, can go ahead with it. so we decided to go from this gap no, no, no next second sampak uh, so tell us uh, and enlighten us this fact that if we do fusion so pre operatively let's say it's a sensate and good food pre operatively yes. but the patient is diabetic and we do a ttc we end up with a fusion and then patient turns out to be a neuropathic uh, element afterwards post operatively how do we deal with that situation uh, does the failure uh, increase and what should we do uh, to such a patient it's an important question because so many times diabetic neuropathy we accept even fibrous union but then we have to explain patient that we are going to make your food disable because diabetic neuropathy is going to be lifelong any person above it in years of long standing diabetes and should look for diabetic neuropathy signs they are classic patients will tell you that iachi ag hote there is a burning joint position i am saying sampark pre operatively everything is okay but you end up doing ttc and then patient uh, because the patient has been chronically diabetic earlier but no uh, on emg nerve conduction study is absolutely normal sensate foot Yes. and after ttc i have landed up in th this situation that's why i'm telling you real life scene protect for long time sir you walking boot or walker boot for long time yes beyond your imagination three times then what you think if you are immobilizing three uh, three months immobilize for six months protect for long time sampan treatment for neuropathic joint remains the same whether it is yeah you like what we explained to the neuropathic patient to, to you have to explain for long time immobilization and sir truth question one more addition i have had two failures where the ttc nail broke same here yes diabetic neuropathy since then every diabetic patient i am doing not only a doppler but a documentation of that neuropathy also neuropathy also so once you have that document in your hand you can tell him that this is a difficult fusion fusion rates are at best 50% you have to be immobilized for double the time as he said and use a cam walker or something like that but augment the fusion so to a nail plate end of so a thing plate, yeah. or yeah. cross screws across smaller yeah. so joints now for these patients i am doing a ttc and putting an anterior plate, anterior plate. and uh, doing giving also a pt for long time that oh. uh, having pain that means there is no neuropathy it is Ah, uh, that was a good thing that he had a pain. But but, ah, uh, because so many times he has skin, and because of deformity, has that thing of the skin and pain. But joint position sense is lost. So one important point is L O P 
loss of protective sensation is different and only sense how do you loss differentiate that spine position sense is most important this thing is to spine position so skin sensations are different than is loss of protective this joint then now, now the question is how will you decide the joint position the Joint position sensor, we teach residents the same way that hold the great toe from sides, not from the plantar and dorsal aspect. Don't touch other toes, just move. Just first toe, this is very impressive to its relatives also. Make the relative stand in front of me and ask the person that first I'm going to test your thumb, his upper extremity. He is absolutely fine. He says, down, up, down. And when you go to the great toe, he is, he is bumbling unless you touch his other toes. So don't touch other toes. Just hold the great toe from side to side. Absolutely, it is very easy to uh, know the. So you are you are checking proprioception. Yes. So that is very important. So NCV nothing like it. But NCV normal as the sampath. So nerve conduction studies are normal. That's what I'm saying. Yes, but that's what patient has symptoms, and usually if they are symptomatic, you will get this protective sensation loss is a red flag sign for you. So that that was the good discussion, and this was the condition. So as we went, we want with the long nail, six sole, three dynamic and three static, four hole transverse locking. This was the nail used. TC nail, straight TTC nail, these different holes. And the post in lateral position, the uh, posterior to anterior calcaneal screw. And this is after two years. Patient is fine, fantastic. Just I rang yesterday, get the video. He's working very well. This was the condition. Opened, opened from the posterior lateral side because there was a gap already. Fibula was not there, so we opened from that side. That 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 was the good skin and coverage was good. So we cleared the non-union completely. Yes, sir. So one hypothetical situation for Dr. Sampert and all the ankle enthusiasts. Say if the patient had presented to us with a similar X-ray, but the known Charcot's joint, would the treatment still be the same or would you be even more aggressive or would you just leave him alone? You can Charcot's add the plate also uh, with that. That is the suggested thing nowadays for the, uh, you can add a one more plate. But your skin condition is looking so right, turgid and compromised. Right, but on the lateral side only. Think something more derotation. Failures of TTC, biomechanically one paper has tested, interestingly, TTC stability, TTC nail stability was found to be inferior to the only screw construct also. Screws they were passing from calcaneum talus across tibia. Even it was um, uh, in uh, vitro study or cadaveric study. But the message to take home is only TTC will not give you absolutely good compression and non-union rate is highest in TTC nails. So what we do is like a missile nail technique of proximal femur, here we pass a screw outside the nail across the calcaneum talus tibia. Smith and nephew nail has inbuilt. So in Smith and nephew nail, you can pass it through the nail, but across calcaneum talus and tibia. So this will give you a good derotation along with the TTC, uh, this thing. You don't have that. And as sir said, plating is not possible. At least pass a screw or staple. They recommend staple outside the this thing just to add the derotation stability. Whatever the instability is remaining, that has to be uh, compensated by augmentation of that system. One more tip about the diabetic neuropathy, sir. Diabetic neuropathy has autonomous component, anhydrosis, dry skin, the fissures, vega. These all things you should count. We don't pay attention to these things. So. These things are also to be seen because autonomous component of the diabetic neuropathy also.
but it was with the injury so it was very difficult because the, you can see the nail nail was not also normal in his case the nail to nail was not good again that was a problem so thank you very much those who are here not member of iu please become the member and a small appeal to verification of your aadhar on the website it is very easy thank you very much thank you sir for nice case i request dr mandeep dillan sir Thank you.